For those wounded by fierce fighting in Mosul, Iraq, emergency trauma surgery is the beginning, rather than the end, of a long journey to recovery. Doctors Without Borders runs a 40-bed hospital in Hamdaniya, a town south of Mosul, to specifically cater to the needs of those recovering from surgery. And here are their stories. Fatin's father. When our neighborhood in western Mosul was retaken by the Iraqi army, we went back to our house. Fatin was playing in the garden when a mortar bomb fell and exploded. First, we took her to Doctors Without Borders in Hamam Alalil, where she received first aid. From there, she was referred to another field hospital in Bartella for further treatment. Now she is here, in the post-operative ward of Hamdaniya Hospital. Every day, the staff here clean her wounds and put new bandages on. Fatin is a brave girl. She likes to play and laugh, but she misses her brothers and sisters at home. Faisal. I live in a refugee camp in Dohuk. It has been almost three years now since we fled Sanjar to escape IS. For seven days we hid in the mountains without food or water. I'd like to leave the camp. Life there is bad because there is no electricity, no services, and we still live in tents. But we can't go back to Sanjar, it's not safe. I became a nurse for humanitarian reasons. To help people. Abood. I was shot by a sniper, and I was completely paralyzed. After that, we escaped, and the army moved me to Erbil. There was no hope left in my case. They said I would be a quadriplegic. Then, they moved me to Hamdaniya Hospital, where my legs and arms became better. There has been a lot of progress. Aswan. I'm from al Hathba in eastern Mosul. It was very scary with the shooting and the shelling. There were dead bodies in the street. But we couldn't leave the city. It was too dangerous and too expensive. I first studied electrical engineering but changed to nursing because I wanted to help people. I like the job here with Doctors Without Borders. We take care of patients and after their surgery, we help them recover. Mosul is just one area where Doctors Without Borders is providing life-saving medical care. Their operations span more than 70 countries around the world. With your help, they can continue to treat and rehabilitate people affected by conflict, malnutrition, and disease. Visit DoctorsWithoutBorders.org to donate or learn more.